And I was like, he's he dug his head. He hit with his crown. Oh, he kept on. He played that little, 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 little pop one since he was about fourth grade. So he didn't know more than how to do it. I finally had to bench him. I benched him for a half. <laughs> I told him next time you do it, he said, for a half. And then he did it again by signing it. And he figured it out. But he's got to do it with your face, not the top of your head. On your rear. 
shoes like I mean, Hi guys, look. Big old tub loaded lineman. Mm -hmm. These are the flags. Like they daddy yeah. Yeah. To I don't need to get there right now. They don't think you know what you're doing. All right. you well, when you get, when we you put get, them on, you need to be getting to the games early. There's a set of coaches in there, too, that have forgotten that these are, you know, it's not going to make you all kids. And they're going for, you know, state championship. And... Inside, inside, outside, outside, right? I've watched so, more kids that get harassed and coached bad. Inside, inside, outside, outside. Because it ain't inside, no fun. Inside, outside, outside. Say it again. Inside, inside, outside, outside. Okay, so there's four holes. I don't want anybody to play softball. Four holes. I coach that. I'm always going to inside. I coach my youngest. My youngest is in second. The inside over here. This year, she was in the first grade. The inside over here. Your son's always in the first grade. Inside, outside, over here. I always tell my parents, I always tell my parents, I always say, my goal is I tell them. Okay, that's how we put it on, inside, inside, outside, outside. The kid ain't going to get a scholarship because of me. She's not going to get a scholarship because of me. I'm not going to keep her from getting a scholarship. So here we go, we're in the game. I said, my goal is that next year your kid wants to play. So we're in the game. next year and has learned basic skills, I've done my job. Cooper's coming at me. I got the ball. He he pulls my flag. All right. You hear this? Here's what happens. I'm going to go find my flag, whether it's on the ground or if Cooper just got me and he says, here you go, he's going to hand it to me. I'm going to take my flag. I'm going to put it back and go get back in the huddle. And Cooper's going to go back. Get his huddle. Do y'all see that? Yes, sir. Is there anything complicated about that? No. no. no sir. Simple. Simple. Very simple. Did Cooper take my flag after he just pulled it and turn around and throw it off to the sideline? No. What does that do? It, it, it makes us not play so for a long time, right? Now we got to go get chase down the flag. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Right now, I'm on defense. Y'all are on offense. Kindergarten first. Kindergarten first. Jacob, come here. We're standing here talking about coverage, and Jacob's going to decide he wants to be a little twerk. He's gonna pull my flag off. He's gonna throw it. Now I'm on defense, and I don't have a flag. If I get an interception, I'm an illegal player now. So I can't get an interception because he just pulled my flag off, and I'm not ready to play. So now before we start playing, I gotta go get my flag. The other team says hut. Uh, now I'm not covering my man because. Jacob, on my team, just want to be a little twerk and pull my flag off and waste time. Y'all understand that? So here's the rule. You don't pull anybody's flag off that doesn't have the ball. And if you do pull their flag, you either drop it straight on the ground or you hand it to them after you hear the whistle. Does anybody have any questions about that? We could. We didn't do that. The reason we didn't do that is because we got home from his um, football practice. On Saturday, going to be game day. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a couple days. Huh? There's going to be a couple of days and don't come up there. Uh huh. We'll, we'll see how things go. <laughs> Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.